friends. Today I take you on a tour of my minimalist kitchen. Okay, the first thing I'm going to talk about is my stove. This is a regular Coleman butane stove. A um, couple of things that I've done to it to make it a bit more functional is I use magnets uh, to keep this thing from always popping open all the time. And I got that idea from Static Camperman. Thank you very much, sir. And, ooh, that's the ugly side. Make a ticky poo. And then I just uh, added this little bit so I can push it in and slide. I was going to put a fancy knob there, but eh, it works. The last thing is I uh, put, oh look, it's wearing out. I put this plastic sign on the bottom, some epoxy, so it slides in and out really nice, really easy. So that's my stove. Um, this is something I just started doing yesterday and I'm not sure if I'm going to continue. This is just like my banana peels, coffee grounds, pear, kind of like the wet garbage compost. Um, stick it in here for now. Uh, it's a good way to use these containers and uh, I'm trying to reduce my use of plastic. So I don't know. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to stick with this or not this is my gray tank yes it is so what we do here is we take off the lid and I get my funnel I stick it in here and when I'm done with my cooking water or washing up water I just pour it in there that'll last me about three days depends depending on oh, oh something fell some jam fell. Put this back up here. So it'll last me about three days, depending on how much cooking I do. Um, and by then, I'm usually ready for a new soy milk anyway. So that works well. The one problem with this is, is when the container is empty, it's really tippy, and you got to be really careful with pouring it in because uh, it could fall over. It's almost happened to me a couple times. This is my toothbrush and water. The key to a minimalist kitchen is to use as little water as possible. It's one of the keys. So I just spray my toothbrush with water. Half the time I don't even use toothpaste. And this is uh, the awesome thing that I use for almost everything is just straight vinegar. So when I clean dishes, I spray it like crazy. And uh, I use this brush sometimes if it's really caked on otherwise I just use a paper top paper towel or napkin now the one thing I find is that as you can tell this thing is really hard to keep clean and I mean I could bring it to my ex-wife's and put it in her dishwasher <laughs> I don't know if she'd appreciate that <laughs> but you know I'm trying to be independent and not rely on stuff like that so I don't know what to do about that. I guess I could soak it overnight in vinegar and I don't know. I spray it every time I use it thoroughly with vinegar. This is my soap that I use to clean up with. It's just a foam soap and I, uh, I wash my head with that and my face every morning. Uh, but I'm not really, I guess I should do a video on that whole thing I do in my morning routine. This is Dr. Bronner's lavender soap. Um, I'm trying to add as much as possible these days because I find if you just wash your hair with this stuff all the time, um, I have eczema and it, it's not strong enough. I tend to dilute it too much and then it's not strong enough and my head is itchy. Mustard! Some, uh, vegan dressing. Unopened. And this I gotta get rid of. I don't even know what I bought this for. So that's all of that. Get in there, you. And a lot of the stuff, like, I can start, like, that white container thing, I can get rid of that. And uh, debating what are to do with these things. Oh, I can't fit two across. Oh, well. It's like Tetris over here. The one drawback of this thing is that um, 
coffee smells really strong, so uh, sometimes you can smell it right through it. And the other thing is, uh, jury's still out whether it's going to attract fruit flies and stuff, because there is a little opening there. Another thing I want to show you is my pot. I got this about a month ago, and it did not come, look, it's still moist from yesterday's dinner. Um, it did not come with a lid. This is the lid off my old pot, which I donated to Value Village. But um, this, the feature about this pot that's really cool is that it has a, uh, a spout. Now, uh, when I saw this, I thought, oh my God, that's not very, that's not very spoutish. <laughs> it's so small. Uh, but it does work. It doesn't dump water everywhere. You, when you tilt it, the water pour, pours out nicely. And um, one of the main reasons, two main reasons I got rid of my red ceramic pot, my ceramic on the inside, you know, with the white stuff, is because it didn't have a spout. And also, I read some stuff about ceramic and that it's it's fine if it's not scratched up. But once it gets scratched up, the stuff underneath is really bad to have in your food. So I went to wait, stainless steel, and then my, I guess I'll show you my frying pan. It's just a cast iron deal. Oh, I can't get it off. Mercy. There we go. <clears throat> Looks like I need to uh, do a little touch up on this. It's getting a little uh, rusty. I need to put some oil on that or something. Anyway, stick that there. Bought this yesterday. Good vibes only. Got to send yourself good messages. I have been drinking coffee out of these uh, thermos kind of bottles and they're insulated. Or well, not bottles, but you know, cups. Coffee takes me 15 minutes to drink because it's so freaking hot. <clears throat> and this holds the same amount of coffee. And um, it's white so I can clean it easily. Or at least see if there's any dirt. And uh, I like the message that it has. This is what I used to shave with. Got to upgrade my razor. It's a pink. It's a lady's razor. I'm so embarrassed. And there's some other stuff back there. It's kind of boring, so I won't talk about that. I like this cup because it's... I like a big cup for coffee. And then I have... I keep my filters here. A uh, little drippy thing for the, uh, the coffee goes in bread I got two bread I'm kind of broke right now so I'm not I'm buy, I bought the cheap stuff um, so I prefer good quality bread hey got this stuff some jam a potato masher it's probably like totally <laughs> unnecessary to have a potato potato masher I bought that like a couple years ago it's a couple of microfiber towels I keep my plastic bags stuck in this little thing and then in here, I just have these sliding drawers, and uh, this is all the utensils I own. A couple knives, and one of one serrated, and one for cutting like fruit. And then I have two spoons. Terrible, shouldn't have two spoons. Potato peeler, which is really useful. And uh, kind of like a butter knife thing. And in here, there's just Knickknacks, toothbrush, blah, blah, blah. Often too exciting. Oh, money, passport, stickers. You want a sticker? Look at the end of the video. And then, uh, oh, there's my light. I was looking for this. Ah, nuts. I looked all over for this thing. Isn't that funny? That's my Goal Zero uh, Luna light. It's awesome for using low energy but still providing light. Yeah, a couple things. So as you can see, not much to it, guys. This is another thing that I use all the time. This is my bowl. I eat with this. And um, I uh, wash up in this. I use it as my sink. Everything. Minimalism, yo. So this is an interesting idea. This is supposed to be a teapot, but what about putting coffee in here? This thing opens... And uh, we put a couple tablespoons of coffee in there, let it steep for a while. It's five bucks. It's called the Rick Lig, Rick Lig. I don't know how to how the Swedish say it, but I need. I want to get a cup for my coffee that's uh, not a thermos because I find the coffee's so hot all the time. 
and I have to wait like 15, 10 minutes before it cools down before I can drink it. So I was thinking to get a cup and then I saw this. I thought, oh, I can get rid of my filter. I can get rid of that red thing where the coffee pours onto. So, hmm. interesting idea. Do you guys think it would work to steep coffee? So that's my current water situation. I've shown this before. I have a new idea to get like a 10 liter um, water container and uh, use that as a gray tank. Attach one of these style hoses to the spout and then little circle thing and put the, the water in. And that way I could empty the gray tank uh, not as often or I don't have to worry about it as often. And then I can just put the hose outside the doors of the van which are over there and empty it in an appropriate place. However, I don't know. I'm not really sure about if I'm going to do that because the soy milk container is working so far, but it's an idea. And I had to move my, um, oh yeah, there's no fuse in that. <laughs> uh, I had to use my, move my water pump because the, uh, the little electronic bit was right in the way of this. So that's a hole. I have to paint that. So there you have it. Uh, my minimalist kitchen. It's working well for me so far. It's not perfect, uh, but you know, there's always things you kind of want to edit and make better, but uh, that's the way she goes. Thanks for watching and be well, my friends.